Right guys, so, finally fucking made it. That's, um, this will be the last uh, training video before the Arnold Classic on Saturday. So we're five days out, so it's Monday before the show. Um, it's been a tough, past three days have been quite tough. Um, so the high day on Friday, and then low Saturday, low yesterday, and low today and tomorrow as well. Um, I think because the last proper heavy leg session was Tuesday, the, the DOMS and the fatigue and the CNS fatigue have kind of gone now, so I don't feel as bad. I still feel a wee bit wobbly on my feet and that, but um, ugh, five days out. Point. So today, um, it's not going to be balls to the walls, our usual destroying each other. Um, this session is going to be five, six exercises, uh, two working sets, not taking it to failure, probably about one, two reps short of failure. Just trying to get blood in, keep the muscles stimulated, keep the food moving, keep the water moving. And uh, yeah, so it's not, it's not going to be anything um, too cinematic today. So, but it gives you a good insight into how things run training wise uh, into that last week. You know you're five days out when you need to take a break during your warm up. So the whole purpose of the last week, it's not, you're not gonna build muscle. You're not gonna add a pair of shoulders, you're not gonna add a back. You're just trying to keep the body stimulated, try to keep the metabolism. So the plan is to probably load food on Wednesday, I'm just going by what Matt actually said. So I've been, I've been pretty much in shape since for six weeks. So, you know, we don't have to do anything mad last minute. Um, yeah, the food's a little bit lower. The, the past five days, but it's not anything like a carb depletion or anything of the sort. So, um, the cardio's been dropped just a touch as well. So, positive. Uh, we've got today, we've got Tuesday, Wednesday, and a, a pump session on a Thursday in Birmingham as well. So, that's how this week is going to play out training wise. Uh, yeah, just going to have a bit of fun with it and yeah, just get a wee insight into kind of what I do five days before the show, so um, yeah, very much looking forward to it, everything's taken over, got physio today, we'll have a look at my condition post-workout, uh, but everything seems to be flying, so once again guys, cheers for the support and uh, hope you enjoy this. So we, we rule of thumb, if your warm-up isn't half a yoga session, you're doing it wrong. So that's one of the biggest things I took away from this off season. I've always been quite big on mobility, been big, big on mobility for years and stretching and that. Probably people are kind of sick of me talking about it, but apart from the obviously the hip tear, um, I've been injury free for about 13 years, so relatively injury free. So it may look painstaking and boring, which it is. It's, I definitely don't enjoy looking, I don't look forward to stretching, but it plays a huge role, so copy me, you'll be fine. Yep. So yeah, we're not trying to break records today. Um, Probably well, rule of thumb, probably about eighty percent in terms of poundages. What we usually do, like I said at the start, probably stopping one two reps short of failure. But that's a vague guideline. Um, at this stage, you kind of have to go by feel. Um, like I said, there's no point in taking my body to that point where I'm breaking down tissue. My recovery is not awful, but it's definitely not optimal. So I'm just trying to get. Get a bit of blood in, get the muscle moving, get the weight moving, and um, yeah, just keep everything forward, basically. So.
Yeah, so we're going to do, we don't usually do pull downs, but um, my thought process was that I don't want too much lower back loading today. Um, my glutes and my hamstrings just haven't been able to recover fucking out the past six weeks or something like that, something ridiculous. I don't remember not having doms in my, in my glutes and hamstrings, so take out the lower back stuff, apart from dumbbell row, um, just to keep that area a little bit more free. Um, so I'm not the biggest fan of pull downs, but it's what it is. The days of heavy rowing are done until the off season starts. So just going to do two straight sets again, 12, 15 reps, nothing, nothing the same. video spoke about me doing a working set on the rear pet deck that's harder than most guys leg sessions that's you all being shown up by a fucking bikini bird <laughs> Dumbbell rows now. It's going to be the only movement where we tax the lower back. Well, maybe tax the lower back, but. Um, pulling, the, pulling the hundreds last week. We were a bit sloppy. Nine reps, ten reps each side. But I'm not going to do that today, there's no point.
chest for the T-bar here. Um, again, I'm not trying to break records now. So that was three plates, 12 reps. Probably do that again. I forgot to mention at the start, in terms of rest periods as well, in this last week. Like, you don't want to be standing there chit-chatting, but at the same time, you pull the rest periods down a little bit more. Just give yourself a bit more oomph in the session. So, again, we're not trying to annihilate the body at this point. Too depleted, so. So, uh, in terms of method and exercise selection today, uh, don't usually do rear delts. Well, sometimes we do, chop and change. Uh, but recently, I haven't done any rear delt work with back. I'm going to put it in today instead of doing cable row, just to keep the tension off the bicep. So, I, want, I don't want to have to be tight on stage through the biceps and that. So, uh, keep it at two rowing movements for back, uh, and then sticking rear delts now. And that should be a little bit more efficient in terms of just keeping everything supple, making sure I can stop pulls quite hard and not have to worry too much about tension through the brachialis and the tendons and stuff. So. Machine shrugs, two sets, three plates of sight, 12 reps. Again, trying to get blood in. Not doing anything mental today. Plus, shrugs are one of those ones where, like, when you just. that little percentage of just too heavy just completely ruins the movement, so. Right, 
Right guys, so that's the, the five days out, peak week, back session done. So just to recap, we've done six exercises there. Slightly different from what we usually do. Um, we usually do, what, three, three rowing movements. Yeah. We've done two rowing movements there. Um, like I said, to protect the bicep, keep the lower back out, so I can allow the hips and the, the glutes and the hamstrings to, to recover. Um, as you can see, it wasn't, well, Chris's side was, pretty <laughs> fucking mental, but my side, just concentrating on getting the form, absolute textbook, not going nuts with the, the, the weight, because there's no need for that right now. Uh, just remembering that last week, you're, no, you're not going to build muscle, you don't have the recoverability, the recover ability to do so. So, just get in, move a bit of weight, um, like I said, one or two reps short of failure, uh, it's really kind of focus on on that and that, that'll keep you right, that'll keep the muscle full, keep it there, keep the food moving, you're not going to lose muscle, you're not going to lose fullness, you're not going to lose condition, so uh, just keep that in mind in those last weeks. Uh, I got Chris in for the, the outro, just to obviously, I want to say thanks mate, huh. Pub publicly. <laughs> um, Chris and I have been training together since, uh, since, since lockdown, um, <laughs> unofficially, officially since the start, the end of lockdown. And, uh, but no, I mean, I want to just obviously thank you, man. Yeah, so, um, obviously, the, the benefits of having a training partner are massive. Um, and trust me, they, they come, they're few and far between. So, um, I have definitely set a new, <laughs> set a new level of standard in terms of training. Um, I mean, I, I've been doing this for 13 years, so Chris has been doing it. Longer, wow. longer than I've been alive, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a compliment. I'll fucking I'll bring you down a notch. So um, we, we know how to train. When we come in, we can always get a good session. But having that someone just give you that extra 10, 15 percent goes goes a long way. So if uh, that's something something to keep in mind, it's always like obviously bodybuilding is considered a very solo sport and a very selfish sport. But there's people everywhere behind the scenes that kind of push you through and help you through, so uh, I try to make you YouTube famous, mate. Cheers, mate. Oh, my kids will love it. I, <laughs> <laughs> the Scottish Lee Ray Davis, that's what I'm trying to make. Uh, hope you enjoyed that, guys. Hope that's a good insight into kind of what I do and what Patrick does um, in peak week. That's kind of generally across the board is what you'd expect from a peak week, if, if you're ready, that is. Um, if you're not ready, then well. Uh, so yeah, cheers again, guys. Subscribe, follow social media, blah, 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 blah. Cheers, guys. Cheers.